It's the 19th of August 2017. Here's Double Wicket Maiden, the Cricket News Bulletin Show on Biz 99.9 FM Substitute Radio. I'm your presenter for today, Shaka Wilson. Here's what's been making news in the cricketing world. England have continued and expanded upon their dominant position over the West Indies in their first test at Edgebaston. They declared their first innings at 514 for 8, scoring at 3.7 runs per over. Top scorer and last man out was Alastair Cook, who made a monumental 243 from the 407 balls he faced. The best of the West Indies bowlers was part-time off-spinner Roston Chaser, who took four for 113. The West Indies bowling attack, Kemar Roach aside, is very inexperienced and is badly underperforming, offering no real threat to bowling England out. It came a point where Cook was batting so comfortably and assuredly as if he was batting in the nets, and only a loss of concentration could have gotten him out. The West Indies had to face 16 overs, and are currently at 1 for 44. Just two days into this game, and it's becoming evident why so many people have been reluctant about the prospects of playing day-night test matches in England. Already much of this game has been interrupted and halted due to the rain, with grey skies being a constant feature. The Australian cricket team have finished their pre-tour training camp in Darwin and are now off to begin their tour of Bangladesh. They now have four days to familiarise themselves to the local weather and conditions before their tour match at Fatula on August 22. In the intra-squad match, the David Warner 11 defeated the Steve Smith 11 by 218 runs. David Warner's team batted first, reaching 360 for 6 declared, with Peter Hanscom, Jake Weverold and Hilton Cartwright amongst the runs, while Hazelwood and Smith took two wickets each. The Steve Smith 11 replied with 181 for 6 declared, with Smith and Glenn Maxwell scoring runs, and Nathan Lyon taking two wickets. In their second innings, the David Warner 11 were bowled out for 181, with Travis Head scoring a century. The best of the bowlers was John Holland, who took four wickets in the space of 11 balls, a spell which was the highlight of the match. Having been set a huge target, the Steve Smith 11 were bowled out for 142, with Ashton Agar and Nathan Lyon taking the majority of the wickets. The game took a sombre tone during the second innings when David Warner was struck on the neck by a ball from Josh Hazelwood and was forced to retire hurt for the rest of the match. After receiving medical attention, he has returned to the squad and will be a fully contributing player as originally planned. Jackson Bird didn't bowl in the first innings because of a minor injury to his hip, but was able to put in a strong performance in the second innings and claimed the wicket of Usman Khawaja. Wasting no time, with the Bangladesh tour yet to formally begin, the Australian selectors have already skipped ahead and named the two squads for the tour of India in mid-September, with One Day Internationals and 2020 matches to be played. Included in the One Day International squad is the uncapped Hilton Cartwright and the occasional inclusion Ashton Agar, while James Faulkner is making a comeback after being dropped from the team last summer. Meanwhile, in the 2020 squad, among the surprise inclusions there are Jason Berendorf, Dan Christian, Tim Payne, Kane Richardson and Moses Henriques. Nathan Coulter-Nile is making a return after being sidelined with a back injury. Tim Payne made his return to Australian colours in February this year in the 2020 series against Sri Lanka and it appears that he is the preferred wicketkeeper in the shortest form of the game against Matthew Wade.
And that's the news for this episode. This has been Double Wicket Maiden, the cricket news bulletin show for the 19th of August 2017. I'm Chuckle Wilson, and you're listening to Beers 99.9 FM Substitute Radio. Until the next Cricket News Bulletin, remember to cock your wrists, play with soft hands, and don't let your centre of gravity go off balance. <laughs>